Hello. Right, we're back. Uh, what I'm going to do now is um, take this panel off up here and I'm going to put a couple of switches there and there to open these back doors and windows from inside the vehicle. So let's get going with that. I've just got to take this panel back off again. So just use some of these trim remover tools to do that. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so you always break about a million clips when you do this. Make sure you've got some spare clips. You can buy a load off from Amazon. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill in here and here and have a little switch. measuring roughly where they're going to go. So, oh yeah. a little pilot hole. switches I'm going to put in. Um, so we're going to use a step drill bit to drill a hole the same size as this. So take the washers off. Okay, you see how I'm switching each side now. One there and one there. Okay, so connections are there at the back. Right, now the scary part we've got to chop these wires. Yes. Okay, let's get on with that. Right, that's the one for the window. So that side of the thingy off this little strap and that's the one for the main door handle so there's the door handle there's the window so you've got to cut into them basically splice the wire in it doesn't matter which way around you put them um, 
Okay, let's do that. Okay, so we've exposed a bit of a wire. So now I've got to cut these and join the other wires in. Just using some block connectors, because it's easy. I know you should solder them really, but we're gonna connect them with block connectors and use um, uh, insulating tape. Right, so we're inside the car, okay? So if I press that now, ready? There we go. Yeah, you've got to have the boot closed to operate that window. So yes, we know that works now. Right, tidy that up and we do the other one. Get some electrical tape back around that. Got that one taped up. All right, let's attack this one now. broken clips out and put some new ones in. We are in the back. So now, as you can see, you've got your buttons there and there. Okay, if we want to open the window, there we are. We have the window open from the back. Because I know one thing, you can't open the door if the window's not 100% shut. Um, let's see if I can, there we go. So now the window's shut. Window shut, so we want to open the back door. There it is. So there we go, guys. Hope that was an informative video on how to fit a couple of switches if you want to do this to your own vehicle. It's quite easy. Um, I can't remember how long it took me. About must be about 45 minutes or something like that to do. But yeah, pleased with the result, and it all adds to the final product. Okay, right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Really grateful to everyone who's subscribing and watching. Brilliant. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, see you on the next one.